Welcome to MathSeason.com. Here's the question. There were some blue marbles and white marbles in a bag. If 70 blue marbles were to be removed from the bag, the ratio of the number of blue marbles to the number of white marbles would be 3 is to 4. If 112 white marbles were to be removed from the bag instead, the ratio of the number of blue marbles to the number of white marbles would be 8 is to 7. When 48 more blue marbles added to the bag, what percentage of all marbles would be blue marbles? Now we see in the sum is that the total number of marbles change based on the various scenarios. Here are some hints. The total number of marbles in the bag initially is not given. We are given ratios, which means we need to solve the problem using units. Since there are two equations that are to be formed, we are going to express each of the two different equations in separate units. We will call the first equation in terms of units of u and the second equation in terms of parts or p. This method is the use of algebra. Scenario 1. Units remaining 3 is to 4. 70 blue marbles were, re were removed and therefore before removing the 70 blue marbles we had 3u plus 70 in terms of blue marbles and 4u in terms of white marbles. In the scenario 2 in the end we had 8 parts and 7 parts. 112 white marbles were removed so before removing the white marbles we had 8p and 7p plus 112. 3u plus 70 is equal to 8p in terms of blue marbles as both the values were prior to removing the marbles. In the same way, 4u is equal to 7p plus 112 is the same as 7p is equal to 4u minus 112. If we move the 112 over to the other side for the white marbles. The equations can be expressed as 3u plus 70 is equal to 8p 4u minus 112 is equal to 7p. If we solve the equation for p, we need to make the value of p equal. Therefore, we multiply the first equation by 7 and the second equation by 8. 3u plus 70 is equal to 8p multiplied by 7 is equal to 21u plus 490 is equal to 56p. 4u minus 112 is equal to 7p multiplied by 8 is equal to 32u minus 896 is equal to 56p. Now note that in this problem we multiply the entire formula or the entire expression or equation and not simply the units. We also multiply the 70 and the 112 by 7 and 8 respectively. So we get 21u plus 490 is equal to 32u minus 896. When you solve for u you get 11u is equal to 1386 or the value of u is equal to 126. 126 multiplied by 4 is equal to 504 white marbles. 3u or 126 times 3 plus 70 is equal to 378 plus 70 is equal to 448 blue marbles. If 48 blue marbles are added, we get 448 plus 48 is equal to 496 marbles. To get the percentage of blue marbles, we add the blue and white marbles together. 496 plus 504 gives us 1000 marbles. 496 divided by 1000 is equal to 49.6% of the marbles were blue marbles. Using algebra, we can also solve the equations for the value of p and get the same answer. If we solve for the solve the equation for p, we need to make the value of p equal. Therefore, we multiply the first equation by 4 and the second by 3. 3u plus 70 is equal to 8p multiplied by 4, so you get 12u plus 280 is equal to 32p. And 4u minus 112 is equal to 7p multiplied by 3, we get 12u minus 336 is equal to 21p. 32p minus 280 is equal to 21p plus 336. Solving for p, we get 11p is equal to 616, or p is equal to 56. 
8p is equal to 8 times 56 or 448 2 moles. 7p plus 112 is equal to 7 multiplied by 56 plus 112 gives us 392 plus 112 or 504 white marbles. If 48 blue marbles are added, to, we get 448 plus 48 or 496 marbles. And to get the percentage of blue marbles, we add blue and white marbles together, as we had done previously, and we end up with the same answer of 49.6%. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mathseason.com again for more videos on fun and challenging math problems.